Springfield is well known for the high quality of its 1911 pistols, and the latest series, the Ronin Operator, is no exception. This particular Ronin that I'm holding is a 9mm full-size 5-inch barreled gun, and this is a 45 ACP. The difference between them is fairly slight at one ounce. This gun weighs 41 ounces and the 45 ACP weighs 40 ounces. Now the 9mm comes with one 9 round magazine giving you a 9 plus 1 capacity in the gun. The 45 comes with an 8 round magazine. Other than that, they're very similar in terms of their construction and their treatment. Both guns are built on stainless forged frames with forged carbon steel slides and forged stainless steel barrels. The Ronin series comes with a fiber optic front sight that's dovetailed into the slide. It comes with two pipes, red and green. The rear sight is also dovetailed to the frame and is a serrated face, uh, two dot sight. And it's designed at the front to allow racking of the slide with the sight itself if a hand is incapacitated. People familiar with Springfields will recognize some of the small features that Springfield includes on their guns. One is a small viewing window that allows you to tell whether or not there is a cartridge in the chamber of the gun. The Ronin is a subtle but sophisticated approach to the 1911. It has some extra features that you don't tend to see except for on enhanced guns. It has front slide serrations, for instance. It also has a skeletonized, lengthened, blackened trigger, which contrasts nicely with the bead blasted area of the stainless frame. It has the cross cannon emblem laminated stocks from Springfield, half of which are plain and half of which are checkered. There are contrasting stainless steel Torx head grip screws. And of course, the magazines on both models are stainless steel, the rib in this one indicating that it's a nine millimeter magazine. Springfield includes some other nice touches on the Ronins that don't jump out, but they make a difference, such as the tapered uh, magazine well and the straight checkered mainspring housing. Controls on the Ronin are pretty traditional. They're serrated. The mag release is, is pretty much standard. The uh, slide lock is pretty much standard. The uh, safety lever uh, is somewhat extended and enhanced, and it's only on the left side. And the hammer has got a serrated surface, and it's skeletonized as well. In typical modern fashion, the beaver tail is, is recessed so that when the hammer comes down, and this gun is a clear gun, we've checked this gun. The hammer recesses down into the beaver tail pretty generously, and the beaver tail offers a lot of coverage for the web of the hand, so the Ronin's not gonna bite you when it fires. Uh, the Ronin is a just a, a, a really attractive, visually attractive package, and it's also a very attractive package with regard to its cost for the features that are included in the gun. Springfield knows 1911s like virtually no other maker. And I think really, I've always told friends, you know, I think you get just a tremendous amount of value in the quality that Springfield offers in any of its 1911s. The Ronin is, you know, almost if you could only have one 1911, this is, this is a beautiful rendering of a classic timeless gun with complete quality and complete up-to-date features. The Springfield Ronin, whether in 9mm or 45, and whether in the standard sizes or the commander sizes, really is a nice gun and a nice value. For more on firearms and shooting gear, go to AmericanRifleman.org.